Don't fret, you're not hallucinating. No one slipped you some LSD. But it is true that NASA is set to launch an LDSD flying saucer to Mars. Scientists are confident they can get the LDSD to Mars. They just aren't so confident they can land it safely on the red planet. So a test launch and landing is set for today, or tomorrow, or the next day. Actually, it's set for the next day waters are calm in Hawaii, where the NASA Low Density Supersonic Decelerator is scheduled to land. Waters were too choppy on the original test flight date of May 2, 2015, but any day now the flying saucer will take flight. The short version of what this is all about is the LDSD saucer is testing a landing with the largest parachute ever used landing a spacecraft. You see, on Mars there is some atmosphere, but it is thin, so a very big parachute is needed to safely land multiple astronauts, their food and other supplies on Mars, so they're first testing it on Earth. NASA will be lifting the saucer with a humongous hot air balloon to a height of about 23 miles, where the LSD, I mean LDSD saucer will fall from the sky, testing its 100 foot wide parachute to see how fast it falls through Earth's thin atmosphere that high up. NASA quietly tested a similar parachute landing before, but it didn't inflate properly and it was a crash and burn. But this time around, NASA is so confident it will work that they will be letting the public watch the live launch and landing. We hope that if and when NASA succeeds in sending men to Mars, that there is a populated Earth still left for them to return to, and that we didn't do anything really dumb like killing off everyone on our planet while they were gone. But in such a dire case, we can only hope and pray there will have been some female astronauts on that flight. Uh, would that be a hoot? Future generations of Martians might look at Earth wondering if there really was intelligent life once upon a time on Earth. They what? They killed off their planet? No, I, I don't think that would qualify as intelligent life.